Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the tab colors based on the sheet that's selected. So for example, um, if I switch between these sheets, you can see that it bar the, the name on the sheet or in the tab becoming bold, nothing changes. So um, it's kind of a long winded way around of doing it, but I mean it works. So what I done was I created seven um, variables. You know you can you don't have to use variables, but um, it is easier in the long run. So I created seven. Four of them are just colors. So it's called color.tab.active. So if I select sheet two, the tab active will become this kind of green color. Um, if it's inactive, um, if it's inactive, it will become um, a black color zero zero zero. Uh, the text, if it's active, will be like a blue color, and the text, if it's inactive, will be a, a green color. Then I've got a control tab, which is currently a sheet three, which will be when we set it up, it will be blank. And then I've got a control tab color with an if statement saying if the control tab um, dollar one means it's a, it's a parameter. Basically, if it's if we have a sheet selected, um, we'll show that it's active, and if we don't, we'll show that it's inactive. And the same for text color. So I'm just going to show you then if we go into the main sheet um, and go into properties. Um, so tab color is currently set to fixed. So if I click calculate it, and I've done this here just to save time. I basically said uh, control dot tab dot color, which is a variable we create, created, and we're just defining that it's sheet one because that's the name of the sheet. And um, we click OK, and then for the tab text color, we add calculate it. We say control dot tab dot text color, and again sheet one. We click OK. So if we click apply, you can see um, it's now main is in uh, in blue and the tab is in a, a, a green type color. The next thing to do is actually we can go into triggers and then edit the action. Actually, it's already set up. So this, we set the variable. We set an action control tab for sheet one. And then on leaving the sheet, we edit the action and we set up set variable control tab and we leave blank. So basically, if I leave the main sheet, it, the main sheet becomes a different color because, and the new sheet then needs to be set up the same way. So sheet properties into general. Again, it's previously set up, so it's, that sheet is called sheet three. And you can see sheet ID is sheet 3 and then tab text color calculated and we have the variable that we set up earlier on control.tab.text color sheet 3. Click OK, click apply, do the same for the last sheet, sheet properties. And click on calculate, control.tab.color sheet 2. You can see a G2, tab text color calculate. Again, it's the variable that we created earlier on, so control the tab that text that color she two. So we click OK, you can see sheet one is the one we've selected, so it's the green with the blue. If we select uh, select sheet two, again that changes. So as we switch between we can see the, the, the tab background and the tab text changes based on the selection that you made. Um, so again, I, I, if you would, if you'd like, I could uh, copy these um, variables. But I mean, it's fairly easy. I mean, it's just color tab active, and then it's one color inactive, text active, text inactive, control tab, control tab color, and control tab text color, and it's a if statement using these variables in here. Um, so I hope that helps and I'll see you next week. Cheers.